Oh, hello there, you lovely lot. Welcome back to Crafters TV. I hope you're having a wonderful uh, week. It's been absolutely blooming roasting here in the UK. It's been absolutely gorgeous. I hope it's lovely uh, wherever you are. And we are in the midst of our Christmas Club Inspire event, which means you are going to get double points on absolutely everything, which is brilliant. Uh, we're also going to have loads of winners as well throughout the week, and there's still loads of chances to get your name on mine and Ben's nice list. So uh, you'll be winning stuff. And someone, one of you lucky lot out there, is going to win a £500 or dollar shopping spree. I know. Imagine how many Poke Tools you could get with that. Now I've got a right pair of Poke Tools with me for the rest of the day here on Carter's TV. <laughs> how rude, Joseph. Ah, it's Debbie morning. Fisher and Jamie Rogers. <laughs> I mean, I say that affectionately, of uh, course. We know. We know. You're going to take it. How are you, Debbie? How's your week been so far? Oh, do you know what, Joe? I've had so well, I had a lovely weekend. I can't believe it's Thursday. Where's it I gone? feel like this week has just gone nowhere. I've been busy prepping at home because I'm only in today. And I hate to say it, but what's the time? Uh, I'll be just arriving at the airport, I think, tomorrow morning. Oh, will you? Mm, nice. Yes. Uh, <laughs> not another one. <laughs> Where are you off to this time? <laughs> Paris. Oh, we we I gave know. Paris. Yes, yeah, so I could tell my secret. So I bought our um, Paris for his birthday. You didn't so buy him all of Paris no, or a holiday. Paris, I bought so him Paris for his birthday. Nice, Someone's yeah. earning. A trip, a trip to Paris. So uh, uh, yeah, so I'm only in today. So uh, quick visit, stop off. I'm in all day. So we've got a brilliant yeah. cartload tonight, which we is going to be amazing. Uh, and it's just going to be a really fun day. And so good that I get to work with my of old course. mate Jamie. Yeah, uh, and also Jamie is back with us. So lovely, Jamie, always to have you back with us. No doubt right. causing a little bit of mischief, uh, but bringing us something new as well, which is exciting. We are, yeah. Do you want me to show you what oh, we're doing? Oh, yes, let's have a look. I'm not ver never very good at this bit, but we are going to be playing around <laughs> with some lovely Sue Wilson dies. We have got a couple of different bundles for you. So the lovely Reef is going to be coming up today as well. We've got the limited edition Angel for 2022. Oh, that is Sue lovely. Does one every year, this is this year's. And then we'll also be playing around with my latest glossy glazes. These are the bright glossy Shiny. glazes. So we can do a lot of techniques with these. They're texture paste, but we can paint with them. We can play around with them. There's so much we can do with them. I'll be sharing that with you as well. Amazing. Can't wait to see those. It's going to be a really, really fabulous day. And you guys can get involved as well. Uh, remember, Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion, if you want to get in touch with us on YouTube. Uh, who have we got chatting away today then? Uh, Sarah Brown says, hello, everyone. Uh, from Debbie to Joe to all the gang to Jamie, uh, social media, sending uh, hugs away from Melbourne, Australia. Hope you're all doing well. I think we're doing well. You're doing well, gang? Doing very well. Do, gang in the gallery, doing well? Pretty, pretty well, says Nickers. John, Johnny's doing well. Uh, it's all right. Amoeba's saying morning. The lovely Lynn. Joan says good morning, everyone. I'm about to go into a Teams meeting. Oh, gosh, how boring. Uh, well, if, if the ones here are anything to go by. Um, so we'll be watching quietly in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Good. How, how many days are you in for, Joe? Four. And this is your first. I am in a He's very... In a cheeky mood today. <laughs> I am in a very, very sassy mood today, it's fair to say. Uh, Sam uh, McDonald is saying, Good morning all from a glorious uh, Darlington. Uh, she says, uh, I've ordered the new Portrait Academy of Colour from the website now. Woohoo! Uh, Tansy Pan says, Good morning, sunny people. I hope you're well. Hi, Joe. hope you are well as well. I am. Uh, Lorraine says, Enjoy Paris, Debbie. I know, I'm uh, so excited. Uh, it, it, will you be saying words like randomly with a very heavy French accent? You know, like, oh, I'm just off to Greb's to get myself a pan au chocolat. <laughs> Are you even saying that? What is it with people? What is it with people that are like, oh, yeah, did you go on a little... Oh, I just got back from my holidays. Oh, where have you been? Oh, yeah, we had lovely. We just had a long weekend in Barcelona. Why do they... Why do people insist on saying certain words? Like, and the other one that got me the other day was I was watching this TV programme. So I went, oh, we went to a lovely Indian. Oh, what did you have? Oh, we had the uh, lamb samosa. We had the dog and all. Like, why, why did you say... <laughs> Why do people insist on saying certain words well, with an accent? I've never done that. Yeah. No, I've never done that. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and make a point of it next week. <laughs> Don't pronounce all of it with a with an accent, just a certain <laughs> word. Doesn't matter. Uh, Carol says, good morning, Joe, Debbie and Jamie and all the crew. Uh, another day of brilliant shows. Uh, Sam says he is always in. 
Uh, a cheeky mood. I am always in a cheeky mood. Right, should we crack on then and get on with the show? I mean, we're nearly five minutes here. We could just, I'm all right with just sitting oh, here I'm for a couple right of hours. Here, yeah. yeah. Should we just ask yeah. you questions all day, Joe? Yeah, that's sounds. We just have one of those sassy days. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you think of the, um, the over the edge dyes we've got in today? Oh, I think they are absolutely <laughs> glorious, Debbie. Um, <laughs> Should we move on? Here they are. It's a cute character stamp a die a collection for you. It's a hundred, a hundred and twenty-five elements uh, within here. We've got a cute and cuddly masterclass coming up. I have, interestingly, I've been put down for a cute and cuddly masterclass, Debbie. I've seen none of the others have. Um, <laughs> I won't lie. I do feel slightly fat shamed by this scheduling, but we move, as the kids say, we move. Um, if you. <laughs> It's going to be fun today, Joe. <laughs> Cute characters, then. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Sorry? Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, bonjour. Bonjour. Oh. <laughs> it's really warm in here. Uh, cute character stamp in the eye collection. That's what we're going to have a little look at first. These are so cool. I love the fact that you can move these around. But we are, so you know, joking aside, having a cute and cuddly masterclass uh, a little later. 2 p.m. in the UK, 9 a.m. East Coast. And that is where these are going to be featured. So let me go through what you're going to get in here. You're going to get the uh, positively perfect. You best have a price on these as well. Uh, then, oh, hello. My uh, bunny's gone wandering. There He's we are. There we are, put them back down there. Uh, this one is your Sun Bunny special. You've then got Reach for the Sky. This one here is the Elef an Elephantastic Day. Uh, this one is Pride and Joy. You'll also get Just Because. There's lots and lots in here. Uh, you've then got uh, U, E, W, E. U, get it? Make me happy. I know. Nuts about you and also utterly amazing in here as well. 47.18 or 60.41. Uh, don't forget double points. And also, every single order today, a free gift. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, thanks, Debbie. Uh, this one is today's free gift. These are amazing. This is your Fairies of Light uh, pop-out uh, die that you've got there. Brilliant. Uh, Going to make you a really cool concept. Uh, and you are getting that totally free of charge. Now, off the top of my head, is this like $14.99 on its own this is worth? $14.99 that should be. Every single order placed today will have one of these in it, only whilst stocks last. Uh, so all you need to do, remember, is to get on that nice list to win a goodie bag uh, is get commenting. So Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion if you are over on YouTube. Let's go over to Debbie before I get myself in any more trouble. I've only been back eight minutes. I know, eight uh, minutes. After five takes, days off, but I'm in trouble it's all, already. It's all it takes, eight minutes, but it's going to be fun. Uh, and what's more fun than having these cute characters? I love a bit of cute and cuddly, um, and I think these characters really screen that. They're very cute. Uh, and I love the fact that these dies have different ways of cutting them. So the die itself can cut over the top of the uh, design, but it can also cut at the side of the design so you can see here uh, it can cut on the opposite side of the design so you can see that just bring that down a little bit there uh, we can cut it just as a little sort of wrap for a card so that beautiful unicorn and then just one more where you want to cut them in so if you think of a six by six card blank folded in half uh, and cutting it onto that gate folded card so there's lots of different ways that you can do with these and they're very cute and amazing to use now with each one you are getting full instructions I'm going to be using that uh, paw print uh, with the two little doggies which is great now what you can see for this is the dies on the front show you can cut it at the side over the top and on the opposite side so left and then right and over the top so I love the fact that it's giving you all that versatility you're getting a full booklet in each one which will uh, show you exactly step-by-step -step instructions uh, and picture how to use them which is great so I'm going to bring, bring in my stamp sets um, I've got my dies here and I'm going to use the one over over the edge so this one is I don't think you are using what we've just shown Debbie no I'm not um, oh I I've think you've gone over you've gone over the edge uh, um, you know I'll show you what you stay there Debbie I'll show you the over the edge and then 
No, that's not them. Um, uh, where are they? There they are, down here. Um, right, I'll show you these firstly, and then we'll carry on with that. No problemo. Uh, now, these are on a great deal. Check out this, 17.98 or 25.42, saving you 42 pounds or $60, which is amazing. These are coming up in cartload, I'm gonna guess, a little bit later today. Uh, 14.38, 20.34, don't forget, you're gonna get double points and a free gift. Actually, look if you're a platinum member you're spending on these in the UK what the free gift should be costing you it's amazing you're gonna get birds and bloom birthday balloons paw prints which is the one Debbie is using just there uh, and we've also got feline friends and then you've also got this one here which is your hello beautiful they are the collection that you are going to get in there which is uh, amazing um, Right, don't forget, get commenting because the more times you comment, the more chances you've got of uh, being in the draw. So, yeah, we're going to just go back to, yeah, we'll just go back to Debbie and we'll just, uh, we'll, finish, we'll finish this one here. I'll leave those details uh, on the I've, screen I've just there for you. So that you. I've showed you the samples for these ones. I don't know what these ones come over, but I thought these were, that is the same, is it not? Debbie, it's fine. Just carry on. <laughs> we'll cut it out later. Honestly. You know what, guys? I mean, that's why my Debbie's. I mean, in, uh, Debbie's emotionally and, and uh, <laughs> metaphorically, she's halfway down the A1. She's already checked in. She can taste that first that first glass of champagne at four o'clock in the morning. What is it about going on holiday? It's acceptable, isn't it, Debbie? No matter what time you get to the airport to have an alcoholic beverage, uh, doesn't yes. matter. Even if you're getting there at like five a.m. Well. I'm not sure about that, Joe. You're not sure? No, because, so, when I was on the plane, there was a woman, and it was only 10 o'clock in the morning, so, and, um, and she had a drink, and I just thought, I don't know if I could be drinking at 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, uh, I think it's, um, I think it is a, uh, it's like tradition. You get to the airport, you have a, you have a drink, as soon as you get to the airport, you check in, you go through security, and you go straight to the bar and you have a drink. <laughs> Only the one, mine, if Only it's like one. before 11 a.m. Jamie, where do you stand on this? I'm not a big drinker. Not a big drinker, no, so no. Boring. No, boring. what, Debbie, what time would oh, you say is socially acceptable to drink at the airport? Uh, maybe midday. Midday? Yeah. Midday. Okay. Yeah, I think midday. You think you, I mean, you think you, think you know people, don't you? You know. Oh, sorry? You think you know people. Yeah. Um, I'm not a massive drinker myself. No. Though. I've... I've <laughs> So, so had a few more since I've got older. <laughs> I hardly used to drink at all, funny enough. And I was talking to Leanne not long ago. And she went, Debbie, have you started drinking? <laughs> <laughs> but not because. It's just because I'd never drunk before. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we used to do craft a And I always remember uh, we'd, us doing this... Um, uh, we used to do it like a, you know, drink responsibly, please. But we used to do a drinking game at Craft Again. So we'd then oh put dear. a little bit um, of clear liquid in a little uh, uh, little glass, and we'd have to drink it. And they'd, the rest of the team would have to guess whether we'd just drunk water or whether we'd drunk alcohol. So, and everyone used to say it was water with me because they never thought I would put alcohol in mine. So, but mine, I have to say, where the others would put tequila and stuff, mine was Archer's. So was, it, it was, was yours blending solution? Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, but I, I have some. Don't drink blending got, solution, please, uh, no, whatever you do. Please don't drink that, no. Uh, I have got more of a taste for alcohol the older I've got. Right. So, uh, but, but not before midday. But not before midday. And I, I never get drunk. I can't be. I, I really. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did you just say you, you, never, you never get drunk? <laughs> I've definitely got voice <laughs> notes that prove otherwise. <laughs> definitely got voice notes that prove otherwise. <laughs> all about that. <laughs> 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 uh, that was being tipsy, I think. Yeah, that was yeah. a bit tipsy. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think in uh, the gallery about uh, having a drink when you get to the airport? Even if it's like 5 a.m., yeah, I think. Yeah, I had a, five a, I had a um, five 6 a.m. flight recently from the airport when I went to Seville. And 
Yeah, if you're going on holiday. I mean, if you're travelling for business, if you're going to QVC Germany, Debbie, I do not advocate you having a drink at 6am before you go uh, <laughs> have a full day at QVC in Germany. Uh, but other than that, I think if it's a, if it's a leisure trip, um, you think you're right. Um, Jackie Hayes says, uh, please can you tell me what plate combination you use, Debbie, for this? Yeah, just a regular uh, cutting dies. So it's the uh, bottom cutting plate. Uh, then the um, your card die facing down, your plastic shim, your magnetic shim, and then your top plate on that. Amazing. I uh, do you know what I might do today. Just um, in the uh, you know in the vein of people that travel a lot and like to pronounce certain words in a certain accent, maybe we should just go through the day just pronouncing certain craft items in in a French accent just for no reason whatsoever. Oh, I love that. Yeah, well, all right, let's do that. Because I'm going to France. <laughs> Sarah Brown <laughs> says the fun and giggles have started already. I love it. Uh, Lorraine says I love Debbie's giggle. It's so ch it's such a cheerful sound. <laughs> <laughs> she I have to th say, do you know when you like you never no one ever likes their own laugh, do yeah. they? So when I hear myself laugh, I think, oh my goodness, I must really get on people's nerves. But I have to oh, say, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. When I watch myself back, my yeah. laugh makes me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> so I do think it's quite No, funny, it's so. a fabulous, it's a lovely giggle. Um, good morning, pretty show. I'm Fab Debbie. Happy to see my first live show for the week. Was off last night, says Shadai Hamid. Well, that's lovely to have you with us. Uh, Lorraine says, fingers crossed I get on the list today. And Christine says, love these character stamps and dies. Got them uh, when they first come out and coloured all the die cuts ready to go on cards. Lovely. Amazing. Yeah, they're such nice characters to use, aren't they? They're good fun. Uh, I mean, think of the school holidays as well, because we've got those coming up, and the kids are going to love it. You could stamp these out, uh, and they're going to be colouring to their heart's content, because they're just really cute characters, um, and just have a nice amount of space to colour in. So all I'm doing is I'm using our tri-blends. I find it's the ones I reach to um, time and time again because they are super easy. So if you want to get into your colouring journey and you not quite know where to start, um, yeah, go for the tri-blends because they're the ones that are really going to help out. Now all I'm using here is my lightest colour and my medium shade of our uh, tri-blend uh, ice grey blend. And then we're just going to come in just at the points where I think the darkest pieces will be. So just going round, sort of those bubbles underneath the shade, where you think the sort of shading would be, which would most likely to be round the edges. And it's about choosing where you want that light shade to come from. So I want my light shade to be face on. So I'm going to do that with my first one. And then I'm going to switch. I do have my ice grey shades. So I'm going to go in with my middle one of my ice grey blends. And we're just going to do his eye here. And I like these because you don't have to use uh, too much colour in. If you just want to add that um, slight difference in the texture, uh, you can just uh, colour in a little bit. And then what we're going to do, I'm just going to go in around that eye socket. And just come in and then underneath. So just slightly there, going to go back in and blend that in. So I love that we have those differences in pens that we can switch out. And that gives us that really nice eye. Then we're going to do the same, going to come in with his belly, his little patch. My daughter got a new little puppy last night. Who got a puppy? My daughter. Oh, what sort of puppy? A cockapoo. Sorry? A cockapoo. Oh. Yeah, so she only had the uh, first time last night, so I spoke to her this morning. I haven't, I've only seen pictures, she's going to video me tonight. Has she already got a dog, was it the other daughter? Uh, no, no, uh, no, so... Um, uh, she had a beagle? Got, did... Yeah, she hasn't got any more. She hasn't got her no more. Sorry? She hasn't got her no more. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, they wasn't very lucky. Oh, that's um, a shame. Yeah, my other daughter, my youngest daughter has now got, um, uh, they've just got the cockapoo. Yeah, my eldest daughter, she's not going to get another dog now. They've decided no. not to, no. It's too heartbreaking, isn't it? Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? Um, 
Michelle McCarthy's message says it's always five o'clock somewhere. I like that. Um, <laughs> Sam McDonald uh, down the road in Darlington as well says, oh, I could have a drink at the airport anytime. In fact, you know what? It's 11. Do you know what? It's 11.19, Sam. I could be at Teesside in 20 minutes if you want to meet me there. I'd be up for, it's very warm out there. I'd be up for sacking this off and going to the, uh, I'd be up for sacking this off and going to the Sky Bar, to be honest, uh, Sam. See you down there. Um, Sarah Brown says, wow, what a fab collection at a, <laughs> what a great collection uh, at a great price. Uh, I absolutely love it. Um, Sarah Brown says, it's definitely Bailey's time here. It's 8.15. Sylvia says, <laughs> I love this from Sylvia. She says, Debbie, I never get drunk. Joe, straight in. Challenge accepted. <laughs> uh, and Lorraine says, I've never had a drink at the airport, but always have a Bucks Fizz on the plane if it's a morning flight or a glass of champagne if it's an afternoon or evening flight. Lorraine sounds to me like someone that turns left. Um, that <laughs> seems very luxurious. Um, and Kirsty D says, yay, I've won the lottery. I can get all the crafty goodies I want. Okay, I've won a lucky dip for next week's draw, but let's not let that stop us. <laughs> she says, uh, better luck next time, I suppose. <laughs> You're still a winner. That's brilliant. Right, so we've got our little dog there. Now we're going to take our red brown. So let's take our red brown. And again, I'm going to go in, Joe, but we're only going to do the patches. So we're keeping it nice and simple. And then we're going to do the ears. She said she'll meet me there at Teesside. Brilliant. You all right here, Debbie, yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm All right, Joe, see you later. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> no. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, it would, um, that would be quite funny to suddenly uh, get messages and you're down the pub. I've been um, trying to find a, a, a holiday for um, August, Debbie. Yeah. They just don't, just, oh, yeah, just, they just don't, they just don't exist for less than 11 million or fronty numpty million pounds. I know, it's crazy, uh, isn't In it? the holidays. Surely something's got to be done about it. It's not fair, is it? We found a lovely hotel. Found, I found a lovely hotel in Madrid last night for three nights in August. Yeah. Uh, flights to Madrid from Manchester, which outside the school holidays, Debbie, are about 70 pounds return. Yeah. 295 pounds return. No. It's bonkers, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely bonkers. Well, even when we went to Cornwall, um, the um our holiday so we was going to go in the school holidays and then the week before was a thousand pounds less wow a thousand pounds less so you can't not you know it's it's just ridiculous i might find mind you you might find on social media i might uh, break all the rules of me and um just decide to have a drink when we get there yeah absolutely you know. i mean i don't uh, have any children don't particularly like them either so i think the idea of um going away <laughs> no. in the, going away in the holidays <laughs> the idea of going away in the holidays is probably not a good one for me <laughs> when i go into a restaurant they say have you got any allergies i say yes children <laughs> <laughs> would you like children joe sorry i know you don't like children but would you like I think having in theory the idea is nice, isn't it? In practice, probably not. Because having your own is a lot different to other people's children, isn't it? What, as in like it's better or worse? No, better. You can, you can cope with your own children. Right. Where I think it's a bit more, um, it's a bit more difficult, isn't it, with... Um... I'd be all right with children until they start to get like a bit difficult. <laughs> and then I want to hand them back to someone. If they are very well behaved and they just want to sit in a high chair and, you know... Uh, you know, do a bit of colouring in whilst I have a really lovely sort of meal somewhere. I'm all right with that. But it's just when they need sort of affection and, you know, and all those other things, I think we're just going to start to run into trouble. <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of bringing Ruby to come and visit you. Sorry? <laughs> I was thinking of bringing Ruby to come and visit you. Oh, yeah, you. that's fine. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll stay in the travel lodge around the corner, won't you? <laughs> and then, you know, she'll be right in there on her own when we go out in the evening. How old is she? She's seven. Oh, I was, lo I was looking after my brother at seven. She'll be fine. <laughs> It'd be Ava that would um, be the little monster. Oh, yeah. How old is Ava? She's three. Ah, oh, that is such a cute age, though. It is a very cute age, yeah. But she, uh, she can be a little devil, that's for sure. Right, just forgot to stamp my um, little bowl. We can't leave our doggies hungry, can we? 
So let's oh, you've got to make sure they've got a bowl at the moment. It's very hot out there, Debbie. Absolutely. Can't have them dehydrating. Right, so that gives us our woof bowl. So let's pop that to the side and just give that a quick colour in. We're just going to tone, uh, tone that in with the same colours. So let's pop that in there. And just to, a little extra to pop around the sides. And then we're just going to have our blue bowl. So I'm going to use that lightest one in the centre to just tie this in without blues from the bath. And all I'm going to do is flip this colour blue through that sort of aqua colour just to give that really nice transition. So not long, I mean I don't know how long that took, it really doesn't take long to colour these in at all. And then all I'm going to do Joe, is, oh and I didn't give you the measurements of my cards and I didn't because I was talking when I first done it just to let you know when you are doing these have your card and what I did was I only scored into the part where my dies were going to go over the top uh, let's find my die that I use there we go so this bit here, because if you score through your whole card blank, you're going to score through their actual faces. So what I would do, I've done a piece of card 11 inches by five and a half, scored into the points where it's going to be die cut. So then when it's cut, these will stand proud and you've got your five and a half inch square uh, die cut. And the reason I did that, because it then allows for an inch at the top, so you can then put it into a six by six envelope. Okay? And then Amazing. all I'm going to do to finish off, Joe, we've just got some... Um, cardstock here which I've just tied some ribbon round uh, put one of the sentiments that are on there I love that you're not just getting the actual uh, cute characters you're getting the gorgeous sentiments as well so I've just put there dogs leave poor prints on your heart and they certainly do so let's just pop that making sure that's straight on my card there we go and there we are there's our um, our little doggy, um, our doggy card. Amazing. Uh, you're definitely not going to break the bank if you want to recreate this as well because you, your saving is off the charts. £42 or $60 is what you are saving here. Don't forget as well, every single, uh, every single order is going to receive as well the free gift. Uh, it's worth £14.99 today as well. So make sure uh, you are placing an order today. It is while stocks last though, so who knows if we'll have enough to last the day. Uh, let's uh, take you back through what you're getting in this particular collection then. These should be, is it £12.99 each? Uh, they should be £11.99 each. You're getting them all for £17.98. So really you're paying what? six pounds you pay you're paying that one you're paying you're buying one you're getting the rest of them for six pounds amazing amazing value uh you're going to get the first one there was birds and blooms you've got birthday balloons you've also got paw prints here then you've got feline friends and this one here as well is your hello beautiful that you can see just there absolutely gorgeous right uh let's move on let's share with you this next one trifold 60 percent saving uh, on these ones just here these are coming up in that cute and cuddly masterclass uh, which is happening this afternoon at 2 p.m uh, 9 a.m if you are over on the east coast now uh, you're going to get i love these because they can be quite simple if you want them to be i think they're really effective so you've got the trifold in there uh, you are getting the cardstock included as well we don't always include the cardstock but we are going to include 25 sheets of that we're so generous today you're getting all the stamps and then the dies to cut the aperture. And you know what these give you, Debbie, don't you? An opportunity to They cross. do. They do indeed. Uh, so you've got Birthday Bunny. Uh, then you've got this one here, which is uh, You Mean So Much with the elephants. This one here is your You Have My Heart. Uh, they are all interchangeable as well. So you can use um, the centre stamps. Um, you can mix and match them across the different range if you wish. This one here is You've Been On My Mind with the gorgeous metalings in there. You do get all the sentiments that you need to go with them too. This one here is Peeking In uh, to Say Hello. I think it's really cool there. A uh, the little house plants that you've got. And then this one here is Best Buddy, which is super, super cute. 
adorable. Uh, that one there, 27.97 or 36.26. Uh, that is a saving of uh, what, almost 42 pounds or just under 55 dollars. And remember, you're going to get double points. And of course, remember, you're going to get the free gift as well. Now, remember, all you need to do as well to get on our, the nice list and win yourself a goodie bag. I mean, this one is packed full of loads of stuff in here. There's tri colours in here, I can see. We've got a six by six paper pad. There's stamps, dies, embellishments, all sorts in there. Uh, obviously, contents may vary. Is get commenting because uh, for every comment, that is uh, an entry. So there you go. And we'll pick another um, person who's going to go up onto mine and Ben's nice list at the end of the show and we will also uh, pick one every show and then two people chosen at random will go up later as well ha Jackie says haha you don't like children Joe so funny I mean some children I like uh, usually when they're asleep uh, laughing gravy says uh, I spent my five pound voucher inserted in my last um, parcel on the Academy of Colour Box. Yippee, that's amazing. Uh, any questions or comments you've got, get them into me. Crafters TV on Facebook, the Crafters Companion. Over on YouTube, we're gonna head back to Debbie. Where are we going next, Debbie? Yeah, so I love these trifold ones. I, see, I think because they offer so much versatility. So the whole um, uh, inspiration for these come from this card here, where you have your card stock to a certain size, uh, you open it up and it creates that trifold card. Uh, so this was the vision that the team had when developing these dies. So very clever. You've got that sort of look through uh, and then your part in the center there. Um, you, they just offer so many different things. I also love them because they've all got that square, same square aperture. So if you want to mix and match them and you want to have a butterfly with the cat or the dog with the cat, uh, you can do that as well. So they all work um, exceptionally well. But then you can start doing different things with them. So instead of the fold in and fold in, you can literally have your trifold there, which is opening in the center. So that gives you a completely different look. What about having it on a different card, like a square card? This one's great as well. So having that trifold, uh, but doing it in a center of a completely different shape. Uh, there's this one, which again, gives you that beautiful trifold sort of stepped card. Uh, I love that one. I think that's a great idea. Uh, but then you don't even have to trifold them. Maybe just pop them onto the front of a card. Uh, this would be great using it as a shaker card and then one more here which is just on the front uh, which opens up and then you've got that sort of party and a card going on there so I absolutely love that one so the versatility of these dies um, is amazing because there are so many different things that you can do with them so let's pop them to the side we're going to be using going for dogs again today um, I think because my daughter got a puppy it was like oh let's do uh, let's do well it, that's not true she was thinking about it um, but they actually went and got the puppy last night so um, yeah uh, but this one. What have they is, called the puppy? Do you know, Debbie? Uh, they're not sure yet. They're trying out names. Um, they're, at the moment, they keep calling her Belle. Belle. Uh, Belle, yes. So um, my daughter's a bit of a um, Disney princess uh, fan. So uh, yeah, they're calling her Belle. They quite like Sky as well. Um, Do you know? I think Belle though is one of those names that you like. What's her name? Belle. Because that's what that's, I'd end up saying, like Belle. And people would be like. Be Bell yeah. or b b ball, what I think if you're from Essex like me, you definitely would avoid calling anything bell because it turns into bell. Bell. <laughs> yeah, see, I would probably just say Bell as well. Bella's so, probably nicer. Sorry? Isn't it? Bella comes. Bella. Bella. It's, it definitely rolls off the tongue a little more easily. Yeah, than, than Bell. So Maybe we well. could get the viewers at home to send in some suggestions for names for oh, yeah, that would the be new good, female yeah. cockapoo puppy. Uh, I, it's that, white. So, it's a white um, one. Yeah. Shall I? Shall I quickly show you a picture? As yeah, as you're please. On my, uh, I'll bring it. Stop the show. Bring There's it over pups the overhead involved. because um, it's it's obviously just been. To, oh, I took. I'm going to show you this as well. This is the cat this morning. Do you know we talked about the cat? Look, that's oh, the, the creepy, creepy cat. cat. Oh, it's very <laughs> creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a creepy cat. Someone's yes, feeding that just, cat. I think it's, it's going to be Corin. No, it just stares at you outside the window. Do, 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 That's do, definitely Corin, right, I reckon. So let me just find. Here he is, the puppy. Look. Oh. That's my daughter. Look. Very cute. So cute. Yeah, she's very cute. So name the dog, people. Yes, yes get is, the names in. Very cute. 
uh, Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion on YouTube. They are, <laughs> I think they can be a bit mischievous, can't they, uh, cockapoos? Uh, yes, Is there I a cocker so. spaniel and a poodle together? Yes, I mean, um, my friend's got a beagle cross cocker spaniel. Can oh, you imagine? Oh, yeah, beagles, uh, they could be uh, very mischievous. Yeah, and um, with a cocker spaniel, he's uh, a very lively doggy. Absolutely. So, what I've done here, Joe, is I've cut myself just a nice piece of um, cardstock. I got this one out of the. Um, uh, oh. Yeah, come to me in a minute, Joe. I'm pretty sure it was from. Spring the... fever? No, no, no. It was the. Um, oh, the. Uh, the, the the, um, is it a film, a book, no, a TV programme? <laughs> how many syllables? How many syllables? One, how many words? First uh, word, <laughs> second syllable. It was the big purple case that come with all the papers. Uh, the paper, paper library. library. Yes, it was in the autumn section of the paper library. <laughs> and all I've done, now the reason, I've done this for a reason. I wanted to put an edge round my card here uh, and I've gutted the inside out because I want to put our dies uh, through that but I want to cut through the cardstock and if you have that too thick it's not going to cut now the reason I want to cut it through because I want to also place this on the front and cut through all of that in one go so can you see the little shape of the dog the doggy's head now what I would suggest is make sure you know where your dog is going to go and, and I mean that because if you put it too far over he's going to stick off the end of the card so we want to make sure we get that central to our cardstock now I'm not going to stick it down because I'm asking the Gemini to do an awful lot cutting this out. So what I am going to do is place this onto here. We're going to get some low tack tape and we're just going to take that down at the top and bottom. We're going to take a little bit of the stickiness off that because I don't want it to rip my uh, cardstock. We're going to place that on there, pop that on the top and then we're going to pop that on the bottom mischief i like that <laughs> little mischief <laughs> and then what i'm going to do is hold it up because in the light you'll be able to see where you're actually going through so we're going to pop that onto here and then we're going to again take a piece of um, low tack tape and just stick that down now i can stick that to the inside because that's not going to take it doesn't matter if it takes a little bit off but we're going to stick that down so you can see we've got that right in the center and then we can run it through now because I have got my big Gemini I can pop my Gemini junior plates through we're just going to place that onto there and run that through now again thin metal dies cutting base um, I like to put my cardstock down with my die cutting through then we're going to use our plastic shim our magnetic and then our top plate and just run that one through now it should it might even cut all the way through there um, but what I would suggest it will always cut through that first piece you could either add your metal shim or d do a double cut uh, but I don't want to warp my card actually that's cut through no problem whatsoever because that's the power of our Gemini machine so let's pop that to the side and then we can just stick this one now into place oh Michelle McCarthy's message and said got to keep your eye on that cat Debbie uh, and Joe I was sat with the doors open last time and it kept trying to come in I don't yeah I reckon someone's been feeding it my money's on Corinne as well. I just can't ever imagine anyone thinking... Which is, Corinne's just so... She's just so... She's very caring, isn't she, she's Corinne? She's very mumsy. She's very mumsy, yes. like she cannot do enough for you in, yeah. in the love, most loveliest Absolutely. of ways. So she'll have seen the cat and thought, you know what, maybe the cat would like a piece of chicken, I think, and then, therefore, now the cat's back. I shall be questioning her intently. Uh, I believe we're together on Saturday, aren't we, Corinne and myself? So, um... I'll be questioning her then. It's not even a, um, a, a sociable cat. Um, Sorry? It's not even a sociable cat because as soon as you go to stroke it, because I love cats, so I sort of um, click my fingers, and but the cat doesn't come to you at all. It just no. runs away. So just it just stares. stares. It just stares, yeah. Do we know whose cat it is? Is it next, next door's? Next door's, I think. Right. Well, actually, I'm only assuming it's next door's. It turned up when next door turned up. <laughs> <laughs> Must be by association. Must be their cat. <laughs> 
Uh, right, my card that I've done, I'm pretty sure is 11 inches. Oh, it's 12 inches. Do yeah, so Alicia was just asking, actually, what is the tri-card measurement? Yes. Well, you so are getting the cardstock included, aren't you? You are, yes. So the cardstock is 12 inches by 6 inches. Did I? Yep. Uh, and then all you do is score at uh, 4 inches and score at 8 inches. And that's the perfect size for these. Now, then what we're going to do is fold each one in because we then want to create that middle section. So fold it all in together. Bring in then, we've got those two dies, remember. I always cut the bigger one first because once you cut the bigger one, you can see through to where the next one is going to be cut. So what we're going to do with this one is we want our dog. So again, check with your stamps. Let's pop that stamp back on. And then what we'll do is grab our other stamp. So we know this one is facing this way. So can you see it ma matches up to that piece here. So we know that our die needs to go under there. And you can get that exact place for it. Let's take my tape off again. And then we can take that inside part down. So right there. And this is what I love about these, Joe, because you can't go wrong. You're going to pop that in, unless your card moves or your die moves, you're going to get that precision every single time. So again, pop that into, oh, let, let it drop down. There we go. Just pop that through onto your plates and run that through. So nice and easy, nice and easy for layering up. Uh, really great as well if you want to do something like a, a diorama card or that sort of uh, look through sort of card. Uh, bridge card, they would look great on. Um, so uh, really, really amazing. So once you then fold these all over, now, what we'd normally do, you're probably thinking, why have I put this on the front if I'm going to stamp on it? It's because I'm not going to stamp on it, Joe. So I'm going to use my uh, card here. And I'm just, oh, sorry, my scoring tool just to score that down. What I do want to do, I've got a piece of cardstock. Let me bring that somewhere. Here we go. And we've got, there it is. And then what I've actually done is got my little uh, dogs here. Uh, so what you would normally do is then stamp directly onto here and then you can colour them in. Uh, but what I've done is I stamp mine out separately because I want to cut these out as well. So what I do want to do is just pop this into the middle section. So just going to use my glue. So just glue that down into the centre great for um, using any of your little scraps that you've got in your uh, little scrap box because we've all got those haven't we so really nice idea to use up all your little pieces of paper to decorate so that will look through onto that one this will go onto this one and i want to leave that quite uh, blank in the center i want that white coming through so i've already stamped these out so let's pop those back onto there and then I've also got You're My Best Buddy. And then I've uh, stamped out the Woof You. Oh, how So cute. we're going to, I Woof You too, Joe. Um, so let me grab, everything's got a new place. I think Debbie Robinson's been having a bit of a change around. Um, I don't know why, but she's been tidying um, everything up into her handbag. <laughs> oh, I'll just tidy that away. <laughs> no one will miss that. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you are being cheeky. Oh, today. I am in a cheeky mood today. <laughs> so we're going to pop that one right in the centre, just like so. This one is going to go onto our front. And then once we've got our card sorted, so let's pop that right in there. We can then do a little bit of colouring. So let's bring that piece of paper that I had before. Um, and again, we're just going to use, I quite like the uh, red-brown uh, that we can use. Now, uh, for these dogs, they're, they're, I love the fact that they've just been left as a straightforward little dog for you. But I quite like the fact that you can sort of do different shapes. Uh, so all I'm going to do is uh, do it a little bit patchy. So this one's going to look a little bit like... Um, I think Belle at the moment, but whatever the name of our... Well, there's loads of names coming in for oh, it, Debbie. I love that. Absolutely loads of them coming in. Uh, Cotton Top, says Suzanne. Oh, that's very cute. <laughs> uh, Denise says uh, B, maybe, B double E. Um, Spot, suggests Leslie. I think Spot would be a good name. Uh, Betty says our cockapoo was named Buffy. She was so smart, but a little bit wacky. We did love her. Um, <laughs> Sharon says we have a sprudel. 
We've got Sprudel, so I'm guessing that's Springer Spaniel, Springer Spaniel. Poodle Cross, Sprudel, I'm guessing. Wow. Uh, very lively dogs, they're called Bert and Ernie. I love that. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, Rhiannon says she's absolutely gorgeous. How about Luna, Maggie, I Pepper, Luna. Poppy or Hazel? Uh, I said Luna. Luna. Pepper, Pepper is the name of um, uh, my uh, brother's dog. Pepper. Pepper. Yeah, yeah. Dan and Emily, Dan Bancroft, who's presenter um, on Crate and Craft, some of you might know. Uh, he's got a dog called Pepper. Uh, she's a, she's a, um, a Cocker Spaniel. She's absolutely bonkers. Um, uh, Sam McDonald says Ginny, Missy or Princess. Oh, I think nice. Princess is a good name. Princess uh, is a nice name. Valerie says Daisy or Jasmine. Isn't one of, have you already got a... My goddaughter's Daisy. Your goddaughter's Daisy. Yeah, that could get confusing. Um... Percy says our family dog was called Misty. She was nearly called Tinsel. We got her at Christmas, but my big brother refused to take a dog for a walk and shout Tinsel. Uh, my brother's <laughs> yeah, dog is called my brother's dog is called Cleo. <laughs> there you are. That's very funny. I wanted a French bulldog called so Trumpet, but did do you understand that could be uh, it would be funny Trumpet in the park. Come on, uh, I Trumpet. I think it's a great name for a dog. Why Trumpet. not? Uh, it's not a great name for a dog. Sorry? It's not a great it name. It is for a little French bulldog Trumpet. called Trumpet. They sound like a little trumpet when they're breathing, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> That's how they sound. They do. They are very windy as well. Um, all those flat-faced breeds are quite windy, aren't they? That's my excuse, anyway. Uh, <laughs> So Wendy Joe, says... My sorry, I'm just going to say, once sorry, the colours Debbie. in, these are our two little dogs. Carry on, though, and I'll um, carry on and make the card. Just two more. Uh, my cockapoo is called Buddy, says Wendy. Um, oh, I like Buddy. Buddy's good name. We had a rabbit name. called Buddy. Uh, my partner's got a little sausage dog called Buddy. Yeah, Aww. it's such a cute little name for a little sausage dog. Uh, and Linda says the puppy's name could be Brandy or Sparkle. Love that. Very, two very sassy names, Brandy and Sparkle. Yeah. Weren't we called that once at um, Christmas? Sorry? <laughs> Weren't we called that once at Christmas? Do you remember? We Brandy had, and Sparkle? They were, we were asking names, what our Why names we? would be. Oh, oh no, it was off our jumpers. Oh, oh, the animals on our jumpers, Brandy yes. and Sparkle. Yeah, that does ring a bell, actually. Yeah, that, that reminded me of that. Oh my goodness, we should be getting our Christmas jumpers out as we're going into Christmas crafting. No, gosh, it's going to be, it's going to be in London on Monday or uh, Monday, potentially Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's going to be upwards of 36 degrees Celsius. Hotter I reckon we are Paris. going to, sorry? Hotter than Paris. Really, they reckon we're going to break the, I think the record in the UK is at 38.7 degrees Celsius is the record. It was set in Cambridge about four years ago and they reckon that is set to be smashed this weekend. We could even see 40 degrees Celsius, which is kind of a bit scary really, Debbie, Very I think. Uh, you know, the speed at which um, the temperatures are getting hotter and hotter. Um, Sam McDonald says I've got a Shih Tzu called Henry and he snores for England. Yeah, we had a Shih Tzu, and it's because they have a flat nose, so their breathing is, um, yeah. yeah, it gives them a funny breath. So we had one called, our Shih Tzu was called Tia. So, um, uh, Suzanne's got a pug cross Bichon Frise uh, called Kaylee. Oh. Kaylee, Kaylee, Kay Kay oh. K-A-Y-L-A-I. Kaylee? 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 I think it's Kaylee. K-A-Y-L-A-I. Yeah, Kaylee. Kaylee. I don't know. And a husky called Dolce as well. I love that one. Yeah. Oh, that's I a tell good you, one. talking about names, I don't know if uh, she's watching, but do you know we have uh, Shadaya? Yes. We always say Shadaya. I know. Oh, Not you know Shadaya, is it? Oh, you were it with was me. You and I. I thought it was with I mean, you, I've already so gone yes. back to calling her Shadaya, though, I've realised <laughs> today. It's Shadier, of course, isn't it? Shadier, yes. <laughs> uh, Mc Michelle says uh, our cat was called Angel. Uh, but, your, but your daughter's puppy looks like an angel. Mm, I think well, they so. won't know yet because obviously they've only had a one night. Um, so uh, we will soon see, won't we? <laughs> but there you go. Those are uh, our little puppies, which are uh, amazing. <laughs> Aren't they? What lovely, lovely puppies they are. Let's uh, go back then just quickly, uh, have another look at the trifold. Uh, which is this one just here. So uh, in here, remember what you're going to get. So all of them are on that trifold 
concept which you can see here uh, and you've got the uh, bunnies which are these ones here you've also going to get the elephants you've got the owls the butterflies uh, this is the cat there and the houseplants and you've got the doggies in there too. Remember, every single order will get a free gift with it today. Only while stocks last though, and it is one of our pop-out dies. It is the Fairies of Light that you will get included today. Only though, while stocks last. Remember, you are going to get double points uh, on absolutely everything as well across uh, all through our Club Inspired Christmas event, even on uh, third party brands as well. Remember, Jamie's going to be here in just over 10 minutes' time. I'm hearing a lot of you are shopping ahead on those creative expressions items, and they are very, very busy already. You will get the cardstock included with the um, trifold as well, do excuse me. Right, we're going to have a little look at the MIDI, uh, mini that we've got for you on the show today. Johnny, have, is this correct? So you get three packs. Right, okay, just thought so. Let's pop those over there. Uh, so it's the Mini itself, uh, $29.99, $44.95. Uh, that is the price that you'll pay for the Mini, uh, and it is worth every single penny of that. You get everything included, a standard, so you get a couple of folders in there, your purple shim uh, and the instructions. Uh, but what you are getting today is an extra set. So you're gonna get three extra sets. You get two extra sets of the uh, plates, which is brilliant. So that's six folders, and you'll get uh, an extra purple shim. So these three bids worth uh, 11 pounds or $17 or much. It's uh, almost, it's only a deal we can hold for 24 hours. If you want to get your hands on it, you will absolutely need to be quick for it. Uh, midnight tonight, remember, double points, and you will get that free gift included as well. Midnight, wherever you are. Um, <laughs> right, we're going to go across to Debbie. Debbie, I will look, I'm going to be completely honest, right? The first time I saw the Mini, yep. I thought to myself, gosh, that is such a gimmick. You know, I thought, <laughs> how is a machine that is that small and compact really going to cut properly? Yeah. But it's quite remarkable how it does, isn't it? Do you know what, Jam? Just trimming some uh, cardstock so I can uh, show you it in action. Um, the actual Mini itself uh, is the most mighty Mini machine that I've ever come across. Um, first of all, it has these suckers like the uh, big, like our MIDI, uh, which is great because if you've got kids at home and they've got like a, uh, maybe their annuals, you know, they get an annual um, or a hardback book, this will stick to those books. Oh, perfect. Um, great for your lap trays, great for if you're flying and you've got the little tray on the front, they will mm. just go on the front there because they're, they're really low weight. You can't get any fingers stuck in them. There's no no damage that they can do. I mean, obviously under supervision um, because you don't want them picking it up and dropping it on their toes. Yeah. But uh, so even though they're not for children, I think they're great to craft with the kids and uh, great for uh, grandparents to craft with their grandchildren. Uh, but what I love about it is its strength uh, and the quickness of it. And it doesn't matter whether you're left-handed or you're right-handed. It works both ways because it is reversible like the Gemini. Go forwards, bring it backwards. Uh, if I stick this to my mat and push that down, it will lift my mat up. So that's how strong the suckers are uh, on the bottom there. So I love that it is a really powerful machine before you even get started. Now the next uh, great thing about uh, the Mini, which I think is what sells it time and time again, is there's no hard platform to remember. You don't have to remember what plate. So when you think about it, uh, on a just general die cutting, we have one, two, three, four plates uh, with our Gemini. Uh, and then we have six plates if you include the metal shim and the rubber mat. You don't get none of that with the Mini. You get one folder that does all your die cutting needs. You get one folder that does your embossing. And if you have a 3D embossing folder, uh, which is a six by three inches wide, you don't need this at all. You can just pop it through and it's absolutely fine. Uh, now remember, when you get these folders, I love the fact that we're giving you extra folders on here. It's an insane price today with all those folders. Um, but actually, you can see mine's quite used. So you can see all that cutting in there. But you use all those sides. You just keep t rotating, turning it over, uh, and use all four sides. So you've got four different cutting platforms there. Um, 
which is great. Yours will come to you absolutely. I've got one here, which is absolutely so you can see the difference there. Um, but absolutely clear. But once it starts getting marked, that will last you time and time again. Now, all I've got is I've grabbed myself some cardstock and actually quite a low weight cardstock. So I'm going to put two pieces through because even though we've only got the um, a, a manual machine, it means that we can still uh, place different dies into this. So let's cut a few of these leaves out. I'm using this from one of our magazines, so I just want to show you how these work. So I'm going to pop that just forward a little bit, and then we're going to bring in our plates. I'm going to pop those down onto our machine. Now these, I've cut these uh, six inches by three inches, so they're going to work perfectly. Now if you think about all the different dies that you've got in your stash, I would say a good 70% of them are smaller dies, enough to go through the Gemini Mini. Then all we're going to do, I'm going to bring this a little bit forward so you can see the whole thing, offer it into the mouth of your machine, just wind it through. Once that starts to go, just touch the top, just to hold that in place while it goes through. Now, if you wanted to, you can reverse it by bringing it back in. I don't need to do that because I know that this is gonna cut through no problem whatsoever. So taking those off, that's gonna give me all my die cuts here, cutting through even the most intricate dies. Let me just pull that one out. Uh, in and we've got that twice so that's cut through two pieces of cardstock no problem whatsoever uh, so the machine if you want something especially when we've got lots of little flowers butterflies uh, leaves all your foliage to cut out like that in one pass which literally takes seconds can you imagine how much you can cut out in one go using it's this machine? speed isn't it Debbie? It's it's so speedy. especially for yeah. so many smaller jobs that you might want to do absolutely it's so amazing to get all of those things through so what I would say for the price it is today get it home and try it because I promise you you won't be sorry it is just the most mi mighty mighty mini machine there is out there on the market yeah, it really is a brilliant, brilliant machine. And remember, uh, of course, the machine on its own, uh, you should be looking at uh, uh, 29 99 or 44 95 However, today, you still got everything as standard. The folders and the plastic shim are standard. We're going to give you two extra sets of the folders and an extra one of the purple shims as well. So, uh, And, of course, you're going to get double points, don't forget. And you will also be getting uh, that free gift as well. Trust me to have been, uh, how have I managed to lose already uh, the free gift? Oh, there it is. Uh, here we come. Uh, there's the picture. So the Fairies of Light uh, stamp and die set. Uh, that worth uh, $14.99. You'll be getting every single order. Uh, we'll be getting one of those included, which is amazing. There's still a lot of chatter coming in about... Um, the dog, uh, Debbie. Uh, well, Connie says, my grand dog is a husky German Shepherd called Nero. Love that dime for a dog. Oh, yeah, that's um, cool. Shadia, see? Did it, did it right? <laughs> uh, waiting patiently for Jamie to show his demos. Just collected the canvas collection dies yesterday. So, so lovely. Andrea loving this week's free gift. Um, Lillian's got, uh, I love that Lillian has given the cat a backstory. Uh, she says, maybe the cat used to live in the house and the previous owners abandoned it. It stares at you full of resentment because you aren't the people who should be there. Sorry, the convo has moved on. I was distracted and rummaging uh, through my Bethlehem deliver delivery. The colours are so lovely. Well, actually, the, the house is a new build. Yes, we were in it first. So, yeah. Mm, can't, that's not... Maybe there was a house Maybe there was a house on that site originally that got knocked down to make way for the new it's build It's made houses. me feel bad because if it is a stray cat, perhaps it wants feeding and it's just... Really hungry. It's too fat to be a stray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, thank you, Debbie. A pleasure as always. See you back uh, for here for all things cute and cuddly at 2 p.m. in the UK, 9 a.m. East Coast. Yes, absolutely. I can't wait. We've got some really cute things coming up. So mm. the dies, the stamps, uh, you're going to love everything that we've got to show you. Brilliant. Uh, really looking forward to that. Lots of love coming in for the mini as well. Emma says, sitting with my Gemini mini, cutting sunflowers out for teacher's cards. Uh, Beth then says, love my mini. Use it all the time. Such a great little machine. Uh, who else we got here? Donna says, that is a great deal for this. You won't regret uh, getting it. You will find you use it all the time. Um, lots and lots of you chatting away. Uh, right. Uh, let's take a moment. Uh, we're going to get ourselves set and ready. Uh, because Jamie will be up with all things creative expressions on the other side of this. See you in a sec. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. 
Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Just reach down my bra and take it off. <laughs> no, not my bra! Not my bra! <laughs> Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Do all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Oh, how very exciting. Uh, so glad to be back with another hour uh, for, uh, of course, um, for all things creative expressions in a moment. I just want to announce as well the winners for the Wednesdays, uh, yesterday's social competition. Two winners. I hope we picked it at random. Uh, our UK winner uh, is Deb Rich. Deb Rich, uh, and our US winner is the lovely Joy Sampson. Uh, so we'll be popping those up on the nice list very shortly. You'll each be uh, receiving a goodie bag as well. And don't forget, you will be going into uh, the draw for a chance to win a 500 pound or dollar shopping spree. Oh, I know, imagine uh, the amount of goodies uh, you could buy with those. Right, uh, he, is, he is here, he's back, he's in the studio, Jamie's here, how are you Jamie? I'm good, thank you, are you okay? Uh, really, really good, thank you. Lovely to have you back, always so busy when you're here, and lots oh, of new it? things today, it's always it's exciting. Doing. We've got lots of new bits and bobs to share with you, it should yeah. be a good day. And I'm really, really excited about these glazes uh, as well. Uh, let's dive in then and have a little look at what we've got coming up. Uh, the Angel Collection. There's something just very classic about this, Jamie, isn't there? The whole collection is lovely. This is, so this is Sue Wilson's latest Christmas release. So you've got your wordings here. This is the Rejoice in the Season wording. Then we're going on to your foliage pieces. Now these are incredible because I like the way Sue gives you both sides of the pieces. Mm. So if you want to make corner elements for these, you can. Later today, we'll be building a reef out of this set and it's amazing, stunning. Uh, and then this one here also, Recall. Guessing you could use just the word on its own if you wanted to, without the matte layer. 
You can do, and the matte and layer element to it is also really good if you wish to cut an aperture and then sink the word inside it. So ah. it gives you a lot of versatility here to play around with how you're going to create with this one. Amazing, I love that idea. And this one here is our swirls background. Doesn't really scream festive, does it, this one? Sue is very good at trying to give us backgrounds with her festive collections that can be used all year through. To me, this I always say this, this one reminds me of when you get the lights out of the box at Christmas. Yes. And all the wires are all sort of muddled up. Oh, gosh. And we do little dyes of little fairy lights so you could add on to them as right. well if you wanted to. Or it could be silly string for kids, party backgrounds, mm. bits like that. It's a really good one to just take you through the year. Absolutely love that one. Uh, then you've also got your snowflake background. This one is obviously uh, Screams Christmas, doesn't it? It's so ornate, it's so delicate, and it's even prettier when you cut it out and you put it on top of um, gilding flakes and glitters and bits like that and infill all them areas. Quite a nice one again, like the last one for paper piecing as well. Yeah, really cool that one. And then this one here as well, which I'm really keen to see how this goes together. It looks like you've got lots of options with this one. You do. So there are three different dies in the set. You can nest them together if you wish to, or you can use them individually. So the side of the board sort of shows you how they are to begin with. And then you can see a couple of versions of how you can nest them. These are really good for putting on your gate folds as well, if you'd like to do that. They're really good for using on your stopper elements. And you can also thread ribbon through that lovely part of the panel as well, if you wish to. Uh, yeah, you can see here on that one there, again, uh, that one there, that card's been used uh, using that. So many uh, gorgeous projects we've made using these. Actually, I do see how it works. There's that one in the background that you uh, mentioned just a moment ago. It works super well uh, in there. Um, they are very classic, these, which I think is uh, awesome. Using bits of them, using multiples of them to some really, really beautiful mates. If you want to get your hands on these, it is busy already on this particular collection. 61.99 or 103.99. Uh, this is your festive snow collection. Uh, 49.59 or 83.19 if you are a platinum member and you want to get your hands on those ones. So uh, next up, uh, we have uh, the festive angel collection. Let me bring these ones in over here. So much stuff uh, over here, honestly. Um, let's have a little look at these. This is your festive angel. So this is your angel for 2022. And you're saying these are uh, something you do every year? Yeah, Sue so brings out one angel every year. And to my belief, we only do one production run of it. Okay. So when they're gone, they're gone. And because of that, a lot of people collect them. They love the limited edition aspect of them. So yeah, while we've got them, grab them. Brilliant, that's your uh, angel. You're also gonna get the radiating background. That one's really, it makes your eyes go a bit strange, doesn't it, but in a good kind of way. <laughs> so this one again is really good to stand that angel in the center of if you want to. It's a really lovely background that suits in with that. Again, you can use this one all year round. Brilliant. Then we've also got our poinsettia trio. Poinsettia seems to be the really, really trendy the last few Christmases now. Exactly, you can't do a Christmas card without a point setter on it, can yeah. you? We might break that rule a couple of times today, but in general, this is a good essential for you to have in your stash. Amazing. Uh, we've then also got a joyful Christmas uh, in here as well. A couple of sentiments, always lovely to have these. So these are designed that they can go together or you can use them on their own. It's also a nice way for you to put one on the outside of your card, one on the inside of your card, maybe one on your gift tag and then one on your card if you wish to. Brilliant. Uh, then again, same concept, but with wonder this time. Again, that is cute, isn't it? I like the fact these are such a size that they can be the focal point to your card. Usually sentiments take a bit of a back seat. With yeah. this, they're going to be full up there in front and ready to shine. Absolutely glorious. And then you'll also get the poinsettia panel, which is, I'm guessing, going to bring the whole thing together. Exactly. And with this one, I've tried to do the board so you can see it here. You get two dies in the set. One of them will stay in your cardstock. So where Joe's finger is, you can see that one's actually been trimmed out with a trimmer and it will stay in there. So if you wish to match this up and do them over much larger panels, you can do. But it also has the matching die to go around it to cut it out. So you can either cut it out as a separate panel, you can cut it out as a separate panel and then put a back in behind it. It again gives you a lot of versatility. So he's very good at trying to give you as much out of a die as she possibly can. Uh, and they are real statements, these ones, aren't they? I love uh, just how colourful and vibrant they are. Uh, of course, if you want to pair them back a little bit, you absolutely can. Um, one here as well with things like pattern papers uh, included too. Absolutely love this one, Jamie. Can you see there? Look Thank at that. you, that's one of mine. I'll be honest, that probably 99% <coughs> of the cars today have been done by Sewell, the right. design team. There's very that's few that are mine in here, but that is one of my ones. That's really, really gorgeous, that one. Uh, another one here for you, even doing tone on tone, keeping it very, very simple, or 
if you want to bring in uh, your colouring mediums, absolutely, these are still going to allow you to do this. Now, best way to get the best value, as always, is to go for the larger collection. $60.99 or $103.99 uh, is your price there on that. Your Club Inspire discount brings that down to $48.79 or $83.19 if you are a Platinum member. Um, but if you do want to get any of the individuals, you can. Everything is available from this show individually over on the website. So absolutely uh, be heading over there and checking that out. Let me uh, move on and share this with you then. So brand new today, these, Jamie. Uh, the Glossy Glaze, already 10% of uh, this has gone. Wow. What are we going to use? This? What's this similar to that we might already have uh, in our... Well, look at that colour. <laughs> Thank you. These are a water-based texture paste. So it, basically a texture paste means we can put it through stencils and it's going to give you dimension. The water-based element means that we can break it down. So if we want to water it down and paint with it, we can do. Not that you need to, and I'll be sharing that with you later. We can paint with these, we can stipple with them, we can brayer them onto our cardstock. I will be honest, I see a post this morning of um, a lady on my group. She's actually stamped with it. I wow. didn't know you could do that. I, 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 I'll be honest, I didn't, I've not tried that, but I'm going to be trying. It and it looked really good so again there's so many ways in which we can use these just play with them but fundamentally they start off as a texture paste amazing let me take you through the colors then you're going to get you are going to get if you're going for the six piece collection you want to get the heritage red which is this one here the green velvet which is this one here you've got the orange flame i love how textured these are they are so cool you've got the oh this one would be all right for debbie the parisian purple <laughs> or the parisian purple as she may be calling it uh the curious blue which is this one here love the names on these and the fuchsia pink, which absolutely is my favourite uh, out of the three of them. Lots you can do with these as well. Just a few ideas here. And these are going to tie in beautifully, Jamie, I'm guessing, with the stencils that we've got as well. Oh, yeah. If you want to go for this, $26.49, $39.99 to get a hold of those brand new glossy glazes. $21.19 or $31.19 if you are a Platinum member. I'm just going to quickly grab the stencils that are going to go with these as well, because these are absolutely glorious. 20% already of these mini stencils has gone. Perfect to work with, with your uh, glossy glaze. Uh, a brilliant price here, $8.99 or $13.49. So in here you have got this one here, which is your polka dots, which is that first one. Uh, you've then also got the all-in stripes. I love that one with the, uh, the hearts and the um, stars in there. The elegant squirrels. Uh, you've also got the handmade with love stars small and the stars regular swirls swirls swirls, swirls. I did say squirrels. It's because Craig is not with it. Craig, bless him, who's uh, he's recovering. He's doing well apparently. Um, doing really, really well. Um, he always says it sounds like he's saying squirrels okay. when he says swirls, swirls in his okay. Scottish accent. So I always say squirrels now. Eight ninety nine, thirteen forty nine. If you want to get those, right? Um, lots of you chatting away with us. So many comments coming in. Don't forget, you will get the free gift included, even on the creative expressions items. And you will get, of course, the free gift. And, of course, keep commenting because you'll get the chance to go uh, up on that, um, on, on the uh, nice list. Uh, Shelley says, hello, Jamie. Uh, let's see your bops. Got to see before I buy. I don't know what bops. Your bops. Let's see bops your bops. Are. Please don't tell me you need me to dance. Bops. Because <laughs> that I ain't pretty. pretty. <laughs> What do you mean by that? I should chat here, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Brenda says, uh, congratulations. <laughs> oh, to the winners, that's why. Uh, Cynthia, <laughs> I'm like, this is getting more and more random. Uh, Cynthia saying hi. Lynn's saying love the sunflower background. Um, Carol loves all things Sue Wilson. Uh, it's really exciting to see Jamie bring them to life. Uh, Connie loving all things creative expressions. Tansy Pan's loving the demos too. And what a lovely set of snowflakes, says uh, Janet Robbins as well. Right then, Jamie, without further ado, uh, uh, where would you like okay. to start? So this is the card that we're going to start with. We're going to be playing around on this one with Sue's lovely angel. We're going to use our large words. We're also going to use our radiating background as well. Now I'm going to start off by cutting our angel out. So here is our actual angel die when we come to look at this one. You're going to notice that we have an outside blade running all the way around it. And then on the inside here, we've got all of these lines making up a beautiful dress. Now these aren't cut lines. This is going to stay as a solid item. So these are here to do embossing for us. Now obviously we've 
our Gemini, we have a lovely rubber mat that you could use. But Sue has a very good nifty tip that I like to pass on anytime I feel I can. And that's how you can emboss your dies without having to use a rubber mat. So I'm going to take some silver mirror card for this one and I'm going to place it face down on top. And then I know I've got a very nice piece of white card here, but let's be honest, we all have boxes and boxes of scrap card. Maybe we've got some ink on them or a bit dirty. This is when you bring these in. Bring it in, place it on top of that silver card or whichever card you're going to work with and send this through your machine. Now that extra piece of card is going to up the pressure and it's going to push your original card into the openings onto that die and that's what's going to emboss it for us. So it's just a bit of a, a tip to save you cutting and then putting your rubber mat on and sending it through again. So it saves you time and it saves you having to line anything up or worrying about anything moving. So once we've sent this through, we can then remove our die cut and we can see here how lovely that embossing is for us. And that's all done there in one pass straight through our machine. Even on the reverse, you can see the embossing's gone through just as it would have had with used really the cool. as well. So we'll place these off to one side for the second because we don't need them for now. We'll pop our machine plates over there and we'll bring in some of our components. So I actually need a gold angel. So I've gone ahead and I've got one of those just here and we are going to bring in our lovely angel wings. Now for our angel wings, for speed I've already gone ahead and I've placed these onto a piece of vellum because I like the idea that we could fill them in and give them a bit more body to them. You could, if you prefer, put them onto some card if you prefer a colour under there. And all you're going to do is just go in and just use a pair of scissors to just simply trim round and cut these out. Now you don't need to see me do this for much but you can go in and do as much or as little of this as you wish to. Because it's quite a simple die, it's quite easy to go in and remove them areas. The middle part you don't have to worry too much about because the angel's actually going to be standing in front of that area ah. and filling that part in. So you don't have to go right in there if you don't want to. But just go around your edges and cut them out. Okay, look. I've already gone ahead and I've placed this one onto the back of my angel already, so we've got her lovely wings coming round. I've actually got them on the wrong way up on this one, but we're gonna go with it because it's quite a nice halo effect instead. And I can show you the version on the other card as well. But we've got the lovely vellum coming through. So we'll come back to that one in a moment. Now, for the other part of my card, if we bring this in here, we have this lovely radiating background going on behind our angel and our layers. Now this die, as well as all of Sue's background dies, these have quite a good little trick to them. They don't have an outside edge attached to the, car to the die. So when you cut this, it will actually stay attached to your cardstock. So if you would like to make the front of your card really lacy, this will do that for you. Then if you wish to trim it out, you can use a guillotine or a trimmer to actually remove that from your cardstock or you can bring in your nesting dies. Now I know we haven't bought you these today, but I'm sure you've all got nesting dies in your set. You can straight away put them around that die and trim that out. And what I quite like about this is it gives you a lot more freedom. If that had a die placed around it, you would then have to glue this into frames and do different bits with it. Because it doesn't have that blade in place, if you want a fin frame, you can have a fin frame. If you want a thick frame, you can have a thick frame. If you want to leave it on the front of your card, you can do that. So you've got a lot more versatility. Um, I always try to quote this whenever I'm playing around with Sue's dies, and I never quite get it right. But Sue has a saying, something like, two plus two has to equal five. Right. And she does that every time she's designing a die. She doesn't just want it to do what you expect it to do. She wants it to do more than you imagine. And I think she really achieves that. And the background dies to me are certainly a good indication of when she does that really well. So we're gonna bring in some layers to build up this card. So I've already gone ahead. I've got a scalloped eight by eight card blank. I've put on some black card. I've put on some gold card and I've placed on some white card. Now I do have a bit of a theory that I like to see colors appear in three places. So this card's quite a good example of that because we're gonna place in another gold layer. So bringing in our second gold element. We're then gonna bring in that radiating background. Now you can see here already, I've cut mine out and I've used it with um, that outside die, that lo lovely nesting die. I've then sent it back through my machine with a smaller version of the die on top of it to actually cut my window in the center. Now again, this gives you more versatility of how you could work with these. If you wanted to put acetate in there and make that a shaker element, you certainly could do items like that. But we're gonna use that just as a sunken frame. So we're gonna take off our foam tape from around our frame, going around all of these. Loads and loads of love coming in uh, as well. Um, as well, all things creative expressions. Um, Jamie said that he has lots of bits and bops, so I want to see the bops before I buy. I did, uh, 
What's That's my bad the pronunciation then, I should imagine. <laughs> Craig's not the only one that would, would be squirrels. <laughs> that would be bits and bobs in my world. Bits and bobs. I'll have to find some bobs to wheel in and show you. <laughs> okay, now we're going to take on our next frame. So again, stick into the same nesting dies, which you can be doing with any of the nesting dies you've already got. But I like to frame the piece beneath it. So as I mentioned, bringing in my colours three times. We've got that black layer going on underneath in our, in our card set. So we're going to bring in the black again a couple of times. So we're going to place this one on the top. And then you can see my foam tape coming through on this layer from obviously underneath the radiating background. Now you could put something through them, some flakes or some glitters if you'd prefer. But what I found easier was to bring in another black frame and place that on the top. And that too is going to cover up all them edges, frame that lovely radiating background That's in these really pieces. Lovely. It's a nice way to show you how you can take what you'd imagine is just one background and break it down into smaller areas mm. or to make bigger frames out of them and different bits like that. So we can then bring in our angel. Now we're going to place her on the side of our card over to this side. And I want to do that first before I bring in my word because I want to know where to place my word so it doesn't clash too much with my lovely angel. So I'm going to place her in here. I'm going to hold that down. I'm going to bring in just a small amount of glue. Now I have already cut my backing plate from vellum, my word out of gold mirror card, and I've placed one on top of the other. So we're just going to add a couple of dots of glue going roughly where I think we need them to be on these areas. And we're going to place them coming down this side as well. That should hopefully be where we need them to be to hold on into our little frame. Now we'll give that a moment to set before I lift it up and my poor joyful falls about. But I'll show you the wonder one which I already did because if I do like the idea that you've got the different versions. And then we'll Love see if it. our wonder's going to stand as well. And then you've got the joyful as well. So again, depending on which set you go for, you've got them words. Uh, amazing. Uh, such a cool collection. Love how they all uh, fit together so well too. Let me run you back through exactly what you're getting in the angels. Uh, so you've got the 2022 angel, which is this one just here. You've then got the radiating background. I think you're going to get so, so much use out of that one. You've got your poinsettia trio there. And you're getting the foliage to go with that, which is always handy. Then you've got your A Joyful Christmas Sentiment. This one here is your Wonder Sentiment. Really nice big size on that. Definitely big enough to become the focal point. And then you've got your Poinsettia panel here as well. 60.99 or 103.99. Everything is available individually. Do check the website. Under the Shop the Day button, you'll see all of the individual elements there for you, which is excellent. Let's have a look also again at the Glossy Glaze, uh, because almost 20% now of the Glossy Glaze has gone. I uh, remember it is is brand new today. It's the first time you've, uh, first chance you've had to get your hands on this. And in here, you're going to get the heritage red, the green velvet. You've got the orange flame, which is this one just here. Then we've also got the Parisian purple. We've also then got the curious blue, and you get the fuchsia pink in there as well. They are those six brand new colours for you. Get a 10% saving when you get them all together, which is lovely. 26.49 or 39.99 is your price on that. Remember as well, double points across absolutely everything and everyone that places an order today will be getting that free gift for you as well lots and lots of love still coming in andrew says that card is beautiful um loving this technique says cynthia uh Clarden says i am going to have to try uh the glossy glazes our very own michelle mccarthy says uh, very excited to watch jamie's demos especially with the glossy glaze he is a total genius isn't he just uh michelle uh lynn says hi jamie joe and debbie and guys on holiday but squeezing you guys in well thanks lynn that means uh, a lot um and susan says suzanne says wow i'm loving these i could do you showing something less inviting uh for, for my purses sake there are so many gorgeous items not just today but coming up all weekend here on crafters tv as well right then uh let's uh, go back to jamie any questions you've got you can get them in of course in all the usual ways what would you like to share with us next jamie so this is the card that we're going to do next and show, show you a couple of ideas on this one so this one is going to be using our glossy glazes now i know that we've got sort of an hour of these coming up later yes but i wanted to sneak them in just so you can see a little bit last, about them jamie if that's they're, if they're, they're, if they're last. still got them at this point i think but yeah. this is going to be our first technique now don't forget these are obviously designed as a texture paste so you can 
these are very stencils to give you dimension. As I mentioned, we can paint with them, we can do all different techniques with them. So I'm not going to do the stenciling bit first of all, we are going to play around on some Miri card. Now I love the fact that this glossy glaze will dry on porous and non-porous surfaces. So if you wanted to be using Miri card like I am, glossy card, acetates, anything along them lines, you can absolutely do the same technique that I'm about to do. So all I'm going to do is take some of this, place it down onto my mat, just going to add in a couple of mat, onto my Miri, sorry, place a couple of dots about and then I'm going to go in with a stencil brush and I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to just stipple and we're going to fill in all of the area for our background and it's as simple as that and what's going to happen is this is going to dry nice and neatly for us all of these little pick up points from where the brush is coming away are going to stay there and give us that texture that we want and that point of difference and where it's quite thin these sort of more brush marks going across the back they're going to dry and give us a very frosty mirrored effect that's amazing it's just an easy technique to do, you know, mm. and you could blend your colours as well. So we're just sticking here with a Parisian purple. But if you wanted to, you could put in other colours and work down. We'll do techniques like that later on in today if um, they're still available in stock. But there's a lot more we can do with them. It's like this, if you wanted to, and I've probably got some here somewhere, we could bring in some glitter and just start sprinkling on glitter oh, wow. to the top of it. Because of this is a, a gluey medium as such, if you would prefer to add glitters, flakes, any sort of embellishments that aren't too heavy, obviously, to the top of it, you can do that That's as well. That's incredible. And then just leave that to one side to dry. That won't take long, probably about half hour, okay. I would guess. In the current heat in the UK, probably about 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> it's so it hot, isn't it? It's baking here, isn't it? So with your brushes, obviously, any of your brushes, your stencils, as I say, this is a sort of gluey medium. It is water-based, so go straight away, pop this into some water and wash it off. Um, sooner the better. It's better to get there while it's still wet. It's a bit more tricky, obviously, if it's dried. So we'll place those out of the way for the second, and I'll put my brush down here. Ready? and we're gonna then start building up our card. So I have one here that is dried that we're gonna bring in and give you a little flash of. So this is actually our completed dry pan. I'm just That's gonna amazing. show you that, did I? But it keeps that frosted effect and it, you so can still the see the purple. what was the colour you've used on there? That was the um, Parisian purple. Amazing. Okay. Because it's so, kind of difficult to see what's the, <laughs> what colour's coming from the glaze and what colour's coming from the card underneath, isn't it? It's, it's like possibly. It, I'll bring it back again. It might be a bit trickier. You might yeah, see no, it's slightly a beautiful on an angle. effect. Can you see it there? Yeah, but it's these a are effect. so we had um, we had six colours that I bought out a couple of months ago, and they were very subtle. These mm. ones are very highly coloured. Yeah, no, so it's when you amazing. come to look at them, you can really see the shade in there. It's incredible. Yeah, it keeps the texture. Yeah, yeah, we're still there. Still got a bit of touch to it, which is quite nice too. So we'll go on to our layers. So for this card again, scalloped card, eight by eight one, some purple layers, some pearl layers, and we're then going to bring in a couple more pieces and put on top. So let's bring on our. Silver mirror card again, trying to highlight that the we're going to use these in two or three places so it all matches. So I'll bring in the silver and place that on top, remove my little bit of glue that's trying to escape to the front there. And then for our layers, so this again, this is that lovely background that we were looking at, that sort of string style background. This time, instead of cutting it with a flat edge, I've used a scallop die and just placed that around the top of it so that we've got this scallop detail. Again, I go back to whatever nesting dies you've got, play around with an experiment and create your backgrounds as you wish to. We're then gonna lay out, I've missed the layer. There's me just desperately searching, here's me layer. Let's pop that one on. So we've got another pearl layer. And then we can bring in this bit. We're going to place that down on top. And then we're going to bring in our stringy bit. So we're going to turn this over and we're just going to add some glue around the back of this. Now I would recommend if you're at home to do quite a few of the strings, but for speed, I'm just going to do a couple. But the more you do, the more it's going to be held down and anchored onto our mirror card, which will give you a much nicer finish. This one is also a really good one for paper piecing too, because of the sections that come out are quite large. So if you do like the look of this one and you're thinking, well, what else could I do with it? Paper piecing is really brilliant. I think Joe's got a couple of samples. I'm sure you'll see throughout today where we've done that on this design as well. Now the glue is quite nice because here I've got a little bit that's trying to escape, um, but when it goes onto the glossy glaze background, it will dry and go into the glaze and you won't notice it, which again is quite a nice little yeah. cover up if you do have a little bit of a, an escaping part of glue. 
We don't need to worry for this card because we're going to bring in this band that I'm going to place over the top here. Now the band is just a piece of um, purple card which matches in with a layer underneath and I've put a piece of vellum on the top of it. Now you can see my glue come through here because I'm going to cover that bit up. So I've purposely okay, okay. glued it down the middle which is where we're going to hide that vellum attachment. Now to hide it we are going to be using this lovely snowflake border. Now I'm going to show you this one cut in because I think this one is incredible. So let's see if I can find a nice piece of white card. Uh, let's go for this one. Uh, very busy on its own, the snowflake border. Uh, I'll give you the details for it on its own on the, along the bottom of the screen. A lot of you choosing to go for individuals and mix and matching across both collections, absolutely, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, you have um, every single element from every collection that we're bringing you from Creative Expressions is available individually. So uh, either go for the bundles. The bundles are always going to be the best way to get the best value, of course, but if you do want to mix and match, absolutely you can. If it's the uh, festive snowflake background you want, details are there along the bottom of your screen. It's lovely to have the options, Jamie, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. So as you can see, I've cut my first piece of this and we can see that that's come through nicely, all done ready for us. Now all I would do with this one, and you don't want to keep watching me cut, but is if we place this part over that side of it and send it back through our machine so that we have a double back-to-back -back cut, I'm going to jump ahead and I'm going to show you the one I've done because that'll be a bit quicker. This is what you're going to get out of your cut. That's incredible. How cool is that? Now like we a tiara. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We could. Now we chose where we put this extra blade or this extra cut. So if we wanted to bring that down longer or wider, and then put photos into the middle on little ovals, nice. we could do or pictures. So again, I love scrapbooking. That's a bit of a secret passion of mine. So you could do that because of this one stays in your card. You can also marry it on and carry on doing larger borders. So if you'd like to make these the wrap rounds for your crackers, maybe, or you've got decorations you want to do. To me, this is just stunning. This is a beautiful beautiful die cut and one with a lot of versatility and don't forget you've got them other panels in here as well so if you want to put that ribbon thread apart in there or that other border piece you've got them as well to play with so we're going to bring this one in and we're going to add some glue onto the back of these and we're just going to go for the bits in the middles of the ovals and we're going to place that down on the top of our vellum piece covering up all that glue that was coming from underneath and then these bits we can shape these although they're very delicate they're actually quite strong so if you do want to go in and lift them up slightly to give you a bit more dimension you're absolutely more than welcome to and then we're going to bring in a matching piece of card now I, where we've matched up with the die so where i placed the die on at the very edge it's going to overlap to cut and bring us to that point or that pinch so that that end and this end is slightly messy but i was going to add this bar anyway i'm going to bring in a bar that's just going to tie it all together and we can add that over the top which will go from one point to the other and then in the middle of this we're going to bring in a little oval because i really liked how we've got this oval formation that has been created with the die so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to place that part over the middle here again just placing that there and then we have those words now if you remember, we had that double set of words where I said we could use one on the inside of the card, one on the outside of the card. So I'm going to use the A Joyful Christmas part and I'm going to place this onto my card. Now, I'm being naughty here. I always put glue out onto my hand. Just be careful if you're going to do this to do a little patch test beforehand. Um, but I've done this for many years and so far I've made it through okay. So we're going to place this down on that little oval. And that completes our card. So just bringing in a few of the dies and your glossy glazes to build that one up. Absolutely beautiful. Thank really, you. really gorgeous. What another incredible make uh, using these collections. Let me show you again then what is in the Festive Snow collection. So you are going to get your uh, Rejoice in the Season. Uh, that is coming in there. Always great to have lots of sentiments. Then we also have the foliage pieces in there. You've got the Joyful, which is that lovely big sentiment with the matte layer, which you can also use as a sort of cut in and create an aperture, as Jamie was telling us earlier. You've got the Swirls backgrounds. Then we also have this one here, which is the Snowflake backgrounds. And you're getting that one, with this is a Snowflake scalloped border. Incredibly versatile. That one, as Jamie was just showing us there. 61.99 or 103.99 gets you all of it. That's a platinum price of uh, under 50 pounds, just over 80 dollars. If you did want to get any of them individually, absolutely you can. Absolutely everything is available individually. Lots and lots of 
uh, comments still coming in. Lynn says, I love the string background. Freddie loving the background as well. Um, Susan says, is there glitter on this show? There is not, but I believe there might be some over on the website. So go and have a, look, a little look over there. Uh, Cynthia saying, what, how unique. Uh, Caroline uh, and Tansy Pans both loving the new glazers. Very, very busy on those. Uh, BJ says, I love this pace, I have to get it. Uh, and Clarden says, uh, I'm sold, I have to add them to my order. Can't wait to see what else uh, he does. Uh, Clarden says it gets better and better. And Sandy saying, what an awesome die as well. Let me also share with you the stencils. It's busy here. Uh, a fifth of the stock of the stencils has gone now as well. Uh, you're going to get some really cute ones in here. So you're going to get the polka dots, which is that one there. All in stripes is what this one is called. We also have the elegant swirls. You've got the handmade with love. Brilliant as a little envelope seal that as well. I've seen that one used. Uh, and then you've got the stars, uh, the small stars, and the regular stars as well. A99 or 13.49 uh, on those. Even when uh, you're buying just the uh, stencils on their own, you still get the free gift. Every single order, no minimum spend, will get that free gift, which is amazing. It must end tonight though, wherever you're shopping, that worth £14.99. So absolutely make sure uh, you are snapping that up. Loads of love coming in for that last card of James as well. Janet saying beautiful, as is Caroline. Uh, Liz says stunning. Linda saying pretty. Uh, Andrea saying uh, beautiful as well. Card of the show is going to be very difficult, uh, says Cathy. They are all so good. I've got Debbie's uh, mates standing by. Uh, over here, right then, Jamie, oh, what would you like to share with us next? Last time I was here, we managed to hide Debbie's cards. Right. So I won card right. of the show. Okay. So are you open to bribes? Can always, open again? always. What, what have you got? Good. It depends okay. what the bribe is, but yes, very okay. much so. Deal, we'll work on that. Okay, excellent. So this is the card that we're going to do next. This is our joyful one with our poinsettias this time, playing around with our lovely red and green card stocks. Now, before we start on this one, one thing I did want to mention, because I always forget to tell you about this, is in your Sue Wilson packaging, when you open these up, you will have lots of inspiration in there ready. Oh, amazing. So a lot of the cards that Joe's actually been holding up, as I said, these are made by Sue, they've already been photographed, put in the packaging. So you've got inspiration from the minute you get your dies home. That's awesome. And I, as a crafter, love that, because of sometimes you get them and you think oh what am I going to do with this and where mm. do I start well here you've got all of the dies that Sue's used um, telling you exactly what you need and you've got the, obviously the photo to give you an idea of how to get started so I just thought that might be worth mentioning so let's go on then and start with some of our layers for our cards shall we so I've slightly changed the colours this time I've gone for a slightly darker green to my original card and we're going to start off with black and um green card and I've just noticed I've making another scalloped card I didn't you realize card. Card. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how you go in little fits and fads um, and I hadn't even tweaked but we've got another one so we're going to stick on that part and uh, layer this one up and then we're going to go for our green layer which has already been diamonded. I've gone ahead with some crystals and I added these on just for speed. I always have so much I want to share with you when I get here. The, the more I can do in advance so I can sort of run through them and share the, what I want to do, then that to me works out a little bit better. So then what we're going to do next is we're going to talk about that lovely poinsettia panel. So I mentioned earlier how you receive two different dies in your packages. This is how that one is going to cut out if you wish to put both parts together. So if you use the outside die and the filigree part, send it through your machine, that's the die cut you're going to end up with. If you then do the same, but just using the outside die, you've got your backing plate. So as you can see, I've used a complementary color of red to go in with my card, and I've cut that one out. We can then bring in our glue. I'm going to get messy again. I'm going to put it on my hand again. Just got the, the last time I did this off, but we'll do it again. We're going to go through with our glue. We're going to use our mirror card, and we're just going to pad this through so we can layer one on top of the other. Now the glue is quite lovely because it's our Cosmic it's Shimmer Dry Clear glue. It's quite satisfying to peel off afterwards. This one just rubs away to be oh, honest. Okay. You don't even have to wait for it oh, to dry. I was hoping it was going to be like the one you could peel no, off. No, 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 it's, it's quite an easy one. It's um, one I use all of the time. It's our lovely Dry Clear glue. It's nice and strong and as the name suggests, dries clear, which gets me out of trouble quite a lot because I can be quite a messy crafter. So once we've put our backing plate onto this, we can then work with that in many different ways. If you don't want to put a matching colour under it, I don't think it's this hour, I think it's later on, we're going to be putting a self-adhesive sheet under here and okay. adding different products through the top of them. So again, having these separate dies gives you the ability to cut different backing panels to do that with. Awesome. Now the one for my card, I just had to trim off slightly. So I've already done that already. So I've just trimmed off the top and the bottom and we can then bring this one in and place it on the card ready 
and that's going to go down around about here. I think we're going slightly different to the original card, but that's fine. We can wing it. We can see what we end up with. Now, in the middles of the flowers, I've gone ahead and I've added lots of little pearls already. And we're going to bring in another frame just to neaten up these edges and place over the top here. So again, I'm just going to remove my foam tape so that we've got that little bit of dimension, not too much, but just a little bit. Take this part off. It always breaks when you're on telly. It never breaks when you're at home. When you're on telly, it always takes two or three peels to get the bits off. And then we can place that one down. Now for our word, I've gone ahead and I've got our joyful word in and I've used silver mirror card for our word and I've used a black back panel and we're going to place that just going off onto one side. And then our poinsettias. So the poinsettia, this is the trio poinsettia set by Sue that we have today. Now these again are really pretty dyes and they're really lacy and open and they're going to cut and they're going to put all these pieces in there ready for you to work with. Now again if you wanted to put this onto a self-adhesive sheet and put glitter or flakes through them you could do. In mine I've just gone ahead and placed it onto some red card and a bit like we did on the last demo or the first demo we can go in very easily because this is a very um, simplistic edge. It's not too hard to trim round and we can then create our very own backings to go behind these. We've also got a demo coming up where we're going to be just layering them down and making larger backgrounds with them. But it's quite nice to see that if you do wish to have more colour and less of a filigree effect, how quick and easy it is to go ahead and cut these out as freestanding flowers with a backing behind them. And then once you have them, you can of course bring your layers in. These again are quite nice to shape. You can bend them around either with your fingers, a, a bone folder, or you can use a, a ball tool and a foam mat and just give them a bit of dimension and then pad them together to give them even more rays if you wish to. Amazing. So I've got one of these. I've built it already. We're going to pop it down there and then we can bring in the leaves. Now the leaves are exactly the same. So we have our nice um, filigree effect on the leaves. This time I've just layered them onto some green card and cut round them again. And we're gonna bring in some glue and tuck these under to make up more of a corner element, I suppose, really. To match in, so we'll go round there. And I did another one coming up on this side. And then we've got a little dinky leaf that we're gonna bring in. And we'll place that one coming out from in that area. And then we'll yeah, add in another Great question bit. coming from Connie, Jeremy. So is, there any, is there any amount of limit you would put uh, that, to lay... Look, I'll try that again. I'll get my teeth in. <laughs> <laughs> is there a limit to how many layers you will put on a card? Sometimes I think mine are getting quite thick with all the layers. Oh, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. Just keep going. No, just keep going until you're happy. I always, uh, To me, crafting is all about your likes and your wishes really um, i think sometimes we get a bit caught up in how many rules there are or there aren't and if you like the end result if it's got 20 layers or one what does it matter as long as you're happy with it but personally mine vary from card to card but i think we've done sort of six on most of the ones we've done today i do like to bring my colors in in two or three places so mm. a lot of the times my layers are to complement the colors I, I find and this is a personal thing again it's not a rule everyone has to follow but i find if you make a card and then you bring in one element of another colour, it's like, well, why did you pick that and where did that come from and why does that need to be there? So if you can tone that into your layers throughout your project, to me it grounds it, gives it a reason to be there. And I'm not saying I always follow that rule, but it is one that I quite like as a, a sort of an eye to go to. Sometimes I'll make a card and think, well, I don't like that end result and it's because I haven't put that colouring in more than one place. So if you do that, have a little look and see if you can bring it in in a, a gem, a ribbon, a layer, something else that you can add into your card. Brilliant, absolutely gorgeous, really lovely. What another stunning creation uh, of the Angel Collection. I need to let you know, 10% of the stock has gone. Let's take you back through what you're going to get included. I've also got some more of these gorgeous samples to share with you uh, as well. So you've got, that's the Angel here. You've got the radiating background. Uh, you'll also get the Poinsettia Trio. This here is a joyful Christmas. Uh, then we also have Wonder, which is this one just here. And you've also got uh, the poinsettia panel within there as well. Now, let's move on. Let me share with you some of the samples that you've got. Look at this. I mean, they are so regal, some of the uh, creations here. Very traditional as well, when you want them to be. I absolutely love this one. Talking about, you know, layers and texture on here. There's absolutely one, two, three, four, five. I think maybe six or seven layers on that particular card just there. 
Yeah, that's a so whole yeah, ways does a lot. Of a whole layers. lot of layers uh, right there. Uh, then we've got this one here. I mean, look at that with that beautiful inky background that's within there. And another one I created there for you. So, so much you can do with these. $16.99 or $103.99. Uh, that, of course, gives you a platinum price of just under £49, just over $83. So, uh, brilliant. I think you're going to get so much use out of these. They're going to be perfect uh, this time of the year as well, as everyone is embarking, of course, on that Christmas crafting journey. Now, the glossy glaze, we have a problem because uh, we were hoping to spend a whole hour on the glossy glaze uh, at 3 p.m., uh, I'm not sure it's going to happen because a third of the stock has already gone. Uh, so this is how it's coming to you. A really lovely, uh, big, substantial size pot. Let me just open it up for you. So I need you to see just how shiny it is in the pot. Oh, look at that. I mean, that is glorious, isn't it? Uh, so that's how it's coming to you. Six brand new colours here for you. And these are the six colours you're going to get. So uh, you've got this one here, which is the Heritage Red. Uh, you will also get the Green Velvet. We've then got as well the orange, uh, the orange flame, Parisian purple. You've got the uh, curious blue, and also uh, the fuchsia pink in there as well. Uh, Twenty six forty nine, thirty nine ninety nine. If you want to grab a hold of all of them, uh, you can get them individually, but you do get better value uh, when you get all of them together. So much love still coming in uh, for uh, same, um, for those creations of Jamie's. Trace says love the stencils. Uh, Cynthia says rightly. So there are no rules in crafting. I love that. Um, <laughs> Marsh is outstanding. Linda's loving the card, as is Miriam as well, as is Clarden and Andrea too. Someone's asking about the size of the stencils. You'll have to forgive me who it was. I've lost a question. Uh, are they three by four? Don't do this to me, Jamie. Oh. I don't know. I'm um, going to guess. I think. I'm going to guess. Well, I go back to Jamie. I'm going to run over to the. Um, the I'm going to run over to Debbie's glass mat and we'll measure. Hang on. I, ha um, I believe they're two by four off the top two of my head. Four. Um, but never ask me technical. They are three so. by four. It was a good guess. Three by four. Good they guess. They were there indeed. somewhere. There we and are. The, the other nice thing about the stencils is they have a little hole in the top of them. So if you wish to keep them all on a ring binder, you can do. Um, Creative Expressions have a huge selection of mini stencils, so they do it so you can actually keep them in themes on each ring if you want to. Great it's idea. A nice idea to store them as well. Fabulous. I can right, remember like that bit. I just can't remember the <laughs> sizes. Uh, yeah, three by four. For anyone that's wondering, uh, where would you? like to take us next then Jamie? So this is the card that we're going to do next. We're going to do an easel card and we're going to use our lovely snowflake background. We're going to use that snowflake border, some of our wordings and a couple of different elements along the way to actually work on, on this one and create it. So we're going to start off with our snowflake panel. Now this is our snowflake die. Now again this is one of our backgrounds that does not have an outside edge to it. So I've taken another nesting die and I've just sent that through my machine. Now I'm going to be honest with you, this is a very ornate die. So when you trim this out or cut this through your machine, you're going to want to send it through in one direction and then you're going to want to turn your cardstock and send it the other way. And then you'll get a really crisp cut. Truthfully, awesome. two is all it takes. But I will be honest, I think with one, you're going to find a couple of areas that might be a bit okay, okay. to remove. So just a double cut will do you a huge favour with that one. So we've cut that out already, and I've gone ahead and I've stuck it onto a self-adhesive sheet. So these, if you've never seen them before, they're like, they, they start off with like a um, double-sided tape, but in an A4 sheet, and I've trimmed it down and stuck it onto the back of my die cut, which now means all of the elements in here are left sticky. Now, I know that you have some incredible foils and flakes that you mm. launched not that long ago. I sadly don't have them. I've only got our version. Okay, but you, okay. again, could use those through here. You could use your glitters. You could use any sort of embellishments that you want to put through. So I'm going to use some of our Aurora flakes, but really this could be any of those. So if you did get the um, Crafter's Companion flakes, they would work a treat. And all yeah, I'm going to I do... Yeah, I know lots of people... Um, as well, we've done the Hunky Dory ones previously. There's loads oh, of them out there, exactly, isn't there? Exactly, yeah. Whatever ones you've got would be absolutely fine. It's more just trying to show you how beautiful this die works, having that background come through of some flakes or some glitters maybe, or even little like mini gems. We do a, a lovely collection called Glitter Jewels at Cosmic Shimmer, which are like more like little embellishment pieces, but you could use those as well. So play around with whichever version you've got. And then we're just going to burnish this down with our applicator sponge. I always get covered in these. It's why I've left it slightly more towards the end of this hour so I can get un Aurora Flake for <laughs> the next show, hopefully. But we can see how we can create our lovely background 
very easily, very stunning. Beautiful. That die cut. I love this die. It's one of my favourites from the whole collection. So we're going to pop these back into the tub. I mentioned I'd get in a mess with these, I always do. We'll pop that one down there, and we'll come back to cleaning those up a little later. So, where were we? Let's bring in our layers. So for this one, I've already taken my base layer. We're going to make an easel card. So I've taken my base layer, and I've already used our antique gold card, antique copper, sorry, for a couple of layers, just using down my nesting dies. I'm then going to bring on a little panel or the same size, but I've just scored it at half inch and then scored it in the middle of what's left to create my easel card. And I'm going to place that part down there and let that set for a second. But I'm sure you've seen many easel cards made, but it then gives you that ability to bring that part up. Whether you wish to do a traditional easel or if you wish to do a sort of reverse easel instead is up to you. We'll oh, go for lovely. a traditional one this time. I'm sure you've seen a million of those made on the show, but they're just a nice one that I like to work with. For this panel, I've already gone ahead with this one and I've placed um, gilding flakes through this instead. So this is one of our gilding flake colours instead, if you're wondering why it's slightly changed. But that's the joys of a die like this. It's going to be one of them that you're just going to keep experimenting with, putting different pieces behind it to see what you want to create. So we're going to take the pads off of the back of these. Julie Statham says, oh my days, that is gorgeous. <laughs> it's a stunning die, it really is. And then we're going to place that one down. We're going to bring in our next layer. Now what I'm doing here is I'm building up some height because I want my sentiment to go in the, in the next layer and I want it to float above the flakes. I don't want it to be dead against the flakes. I want it to give a frosted effect um, that complements but doesn't cover, but yet yeah, just sort of sits there and floats. So we're going to bring this one in. We're going to place that over the top. And then I've gone ahead already and I've done some background sheets. So same colour of flakes and I've just made them into little background pieces. And then I've die cut my really words cool. out of these so that I have them ready to play with. And I've then added one onto a piece of vellum and I've just torn across the top and the bottom of the piece of vellum. Now if we bring that in and put that dead against our panel here, we can see that you lose the words slightly because of it's against the same colour and tone. If we place it onto this layer of our frame, where it's suspended sort of five, four or five mil in the air, I suppose, it will just give it less of a tone against the back of it and mean that the wording can stand out slightly more. So we'll just get that level, place that down and let that sit in place for a second. We can then bring in our next frame and we're going to take off our tape tops. Now the number nice bit about using the frames is when we glue vellum, like on the demo we did earlier, you tend to see the glue come through. So with these tabs at the end, you're going to see the glue. But if we bring in the same size frame and place that on the top, you will no longer see them gluey areas. You will just see that vellum floating in the middle between the two layers. So we can then take this and we can add some glue onto the tab on our card. And we're going to stick to underneath that line. And we're going to place it on there. and then that can go up to that side. Then we can bring in, you remember that lovely snowflake border that we was using earlier? This is our perfect stopper element. So unlike cutting it on two sides like I did earlier, I've just cut it on one side and then trimmed it out with a guillotine so that we have a flat edge against it. And we're gonna bring that in and place that going across the card. Hopefully, if I've done this by eye, oh, we might want to move that up a little. Do you know what? I, when I unpacked this, I was like, I'm going to do the word first. Mm. And then I still forgot. So we're going to bring that in and place that down. And then our word can just fit down here. So we're using both parts of that double set. So again, a bit of glue on my hand. And we're going to take off that sticky bit there. And we're going to place this down underneath on our card and then we have the perfect element to hold our card up with our border and our word all in one place if that one will just go down and i'll show you the original just so you can see slightly different wording on that one but same idea amazing uh right then jamie if you just uh, wouldn't mind gathering your cards together another beautiful beautiful card there's so much love for it uh, in the comments uh i'll share with you debbie's uh two cards this was debbie's number one uh was this first one from debbie uh and then number two was the trifolds uh that we did as well and then let's see what jamie has created so in that the show as well so that one will be number three jamie number three for our joyful 
Is that okay? Have we got that one? <laughs> Dance in here. I've got two ready. Then we've got number four, was that, Joe? I've lost my numbers. Four, yeah, that one's four. four. For this one with the uh, lovely glossy glazes, five for the green and red number, and then six for the one we just did with the flakes. Amazing. On the easel card. Uh, one, two, go. three, four, five, or six. Get your votes in. I've got a couple of minutes to get your votes in. Uh, right, let's remind you then of all the deals you've seen so far from uh, Creative Expressions. Very, very busy across lots of the Angel Collection. Uh, is the first one that you can see just here. Uh, this one got some really lovely uh, dies within there. 60.99 or 103.99 uh, is your price there on those. So that is your uh, angel collection. Next up, we've also got the festive snow collection as well. This one just here, some really glorious dies in here. Lots of things you're going to be able to use all the year through, which I think is absolutely amazing. Uh, 61.99 or 103.99 is your price there on that one. Uh, the brand new glossy glazes here for you. Really gorgeous colors, aren't they? So much you can do with these. Thanks to the uh, fact they are water-based, makes them super versatile. 26.49 or 39.99 is your price here. Uh, a third of the stock. Uh, of these has already gone. Uh, mini stencils, uh, a quarter of the stock of these have already gone. Very, very busy on these at the moment. £8.99 or £13.49 is your price there on those. Right, we've got some winners to get up on the list, haven't we? So uh, we've got a couple of winners from uh, Social. Look at this. It was Sarah's nice list, obviously. Not this time around. It's Ben and Joe's nice list. Uh, so let's get some winners up on the, the board then. So we've got Deb Rich uh, is the first one going up over here. So let's pop this on. This is when you all realise how truly horrendous my handwriting is. Uh, Deb Rich, better than last year. I've been working on it. Thank you for that, uh, Johnny. I've been practicing. Uh, Joy Sampson is the other one. So we're going to pop Joy on here. I have to go quiet when I do it. Also left-handed. So actually, I think it makes it easier left-handed, doesn't it? Uh, and then the other one from today as well, we've got Clardon Di Bartola. That's going to be one for you. I'm going to have to uh, squat down for that. Thank you for that one. Uh, Clardon Di Bartola. There we are. Still loads of opportunities to get yourself up on uh, mine and Ben's nice list. Uh, if you have been uh, pulled out of the hat and you're going up there, uh, you will, of course, need to email us. Prizes at craftscompanion.com uh, is where you need to send those emails into. Everyone that's getting up on the board will, of course, get an amazing goodie bag. And then, is it tomorrow we're going to make the draw? Tomorrow, it's Friday tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be drawing out a lucky person who's going to win a £500 or $500 spend. Ooh. Good ooing in the gallery. Uh, imagine uh, what you could be treating yourself to uh, with £500 uh, or dollars. Absolutely uh, amazing. So many wonderful items, new items on the show, uh, Jamie. Lots you can do with these. What I love about the items that Sue's put together for us in these dies is you can kind of take them in different directions, can't you? If you want to make something more contemporary, you can, or more classic. Absolutely. There's lots of different ways you can go. There is nothing pointing you in a certain direction. So if you want to do modern Christmas, you can. Traditional Christmas, you can. As we mentioned, some of the dies aren't even necessarily just for Christmas. Them everyday backgrounds are going to work for you literally all throughout the year for any season or reason that you wish to use them for. Uh, amazing. They really, really are uh, incredible. Let's just share with you one more time, just because it's so busy on these at the moment, uh, the glossy glazes, 40% of the stock uh, of these has gone. 40%. Uh, and remember what you're getting in here. So you're going to get uh, the heritage red, you've got the green velvet, orange flame, you've also got the Parisian purple, curious blue, and the fuchsia pink in there as well, uh, which is amazing. So make sure you are snapping those up. Going to see a full presentation on those at 3 p.m., Jamie, yeah, aren't we? What can that we look we forward to from that? So as I mentioned, we're going to use them as a texture paste through them lovely mini stencils. We're going to be painting with them. We're going to use them with a brayer. We've got loads we're going to be doing with them. Lots of techniques you might not associate necessarily with texture paste, but these will stand up to all of them and more. Amazing. Demo of the show is number six, Jamie, number six. Don't do that to me, uh, I think that's the last that? one you Four, did, the five, final. Six, this one? 
Well, that uh, one. Three, four, five. That one there. That one there you got your hand yeah, on. Yeah, the that's the winner one. Uh, of Thank the card of the show. Very kind of you. Uh, I will be back with Debbie uh, for all things cute and cuddly, a masterclass. Uh, that'll be at 2 p.m. here in the UK, 9 a.m. East Coast. So make sure you come back and join me for that. If you've got any of the Creative Expressions items in your basket, please make sure you check them out because it is very, very busy. The Glossy Glaze, in particular, could be the first one to go. Uh, Shadia says, can we have a naughty list, please? Seems most of us <laughs> are on the naughty list, Prince Joe. Well, we don't have room. There's not enough. There is not enough. There are not... Honestly, there aren't enough trees in the world to uh, compile that naughty list. Uh, right, we will see you back here in over uh, just over an hour's time. Don't forget to check out those baskets. Massive thanks to Jamie. Massive thanks to Debbie as well. See you back here real soon.